E. And now we have it here in our upper bracket final Lin and Lawn, and of course the big favorite coming into today's group B. And now in this best of three, our first place finisher will be determined. Historically, the two have a very even record against each other. However, most recently, Lynn has been taking the majority of wins between the two. So, um, tendency-wise, perhaps Lynn a bit favored here. Demon Hunter first by Lawlight shouldn't surprise us. Especially on this map, Demon Hunter seems just better than the Keeper. Whereas I would say on some other maps you can make some arguments for the Keeper. But uh, most elves nowadays seem to tend towards the demon. A player's forces are under attack. Thank you, Tai Lu, with the 25 month resub says it feels good to be watching for two years and he said it in German which uh, wasn't bad my man good try good try it was a little bit off but not bad Demon Hunter with a double circlet here a good start for him comes at a price of course oh it's got peon oh oh he stole it he stole it <laughs> Oh, oh, that does not feel good for Lawlight. These experience points matter. And that's why the Demon Hunter isn't quite level 2 yet. Needs to creep more, needs to use more mana, needs to take more damage. Oh, I need to kill this guy as well. Oh. This is taking a lot longer. A lot longer. The first W for Lin, thanks to the Peon. Oh, going for the Null Camp right away. That's unusual. But Lawlight should be able to show up here in time to harass this. But again, it's level 2 for the Blade Master because of the Peon Steel. Oh, Lawlight, and I guess he doesn't actually see the Null Camp over here. No way. No way. No way. Dude, if the Peon had stolen that one as well, that would have been ridiculous. Oh, big last hit. Oh, Lawlight stole it. He stole the experience and the item. It might cost him the TP, though. Uh, I, th I don't think it will, though. The peon, the hero. There's one more wind walk. Okay, TP force in the end. But I think that's fine for Lawlight. He got the experience here. He got the circlet steel. And Lin, perhaps a little bit negligent. Normally, the demon should be able to get that steel. But the TP being gone, that's also a valuable consideration. So that's something that Lin will be able to play around. Because now the demon in the mid game will have to be very careful without that TP. Bye-bye. But also, no mana on the... Wait. Oh, he doesn't have evasion, I just noticed. Okay. Lawlight is playing with mana burn. Which means the demon's probably going to be uh, noticeably less tanky. But with the triple attack. circlet, he is pretty tanky. And he's going for the boots as well. I like it. I feel like boots are essential on Demon Hunter almost always. Also, the blade has some good items here. Wait. Can he kill the blade? Oh, trying to block. Oh, he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. Dust for no clear reason. Oh, okay, nice movement. Nice movement by Len. I think he knew that the whisk was over here. He was gonna be ready for the block. So, Consolation Prize is going to get the Grunt. No way. He's going to save the Grunt as well? Oh my god, Lin. Goddamn God Gamer. Somehow able to save the Grunt and the Blade. That was scary. Those boots almost 
led to some big kills. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Scout Peon is still alive. Kick in. Big mana potion. Is that good? I guess the demon's out of mana. It might be wise to drop the circlets, use the mana pot to be able to heal better. Oh, oh look at the archer scout. Beautiful scouting by Lawline here. Lin doesn't have a speed scroll, by the way. Demon Hunter just got the level 3. Is he gonna go mana burn 2 here? I think that would be the best way to do it against the Shadow Hunter. Oh, big last hit! Oh, Quill Beast didn't get it. That would have been big. Almost got the Grunt. Costs a lot of mana here to keep these Grunts alive. Battle of Giant Strength is pretty bad. I think he's gonna have to sell that one. And all eyes just creeping. Mana burn level 2 indeed. I wonder how noticeable the lack of evasion is gonna be. He would love to find some more tankiness for the demon. For him, a belt would be great. But the Laz, also very good. Okay, this demon is looking very stacked. Most of the time nowadays, we see orcs trying to tier 2 expand. Lin didn't attempt that yet. Could still do it, though. And I think I prefer Lawlight's position here. I feel like Lawlight's in a strong spot. Keeps on creeping. This is one of the big reasons why this map is so good for talents. Even without master training, even without map control, on this map you can creep very well. Just with Demoner. And the second hero. The Sentry Ward still giving Lawlight great vision. The Archer may finally have met her end. But uh, she was able to scout very well. Oh, she cancels some healing here. Never mind. Crit. Level 2. Early on. Oh, and we didn't even see Hex, by the way. Then is skipping the Hex for Heal Wave and Serpent Wards. And here comes the Peon. This will be the attempted expansion. Oftentimes, Lin goes for a Burrow first. Although he's already at four Burrows, so this might just be Tower or Expo. Tower, indeed. And G Tome for the Demon. He's got 39 agility on the Demon Hunter. Not bad at all. And importantly, mana burn against the Shadow. I've talked about that before. I feel like Night Elves have been too eager to skip mana burn against Orc. And it can be so good, so valuable against the Shadow. And Lin's army at the moment, not looking that impressive, is it? Blade Master starting off, greeting his opponent. He's quite tanky with that health stone, with that belt. Lin's trying to buy time for the tower, and the tower will finish. And once the tower is up, things get a bit complicated for the Night Elf. Pocket Factory a bit far forward. It seems like that's an easy snipe. Of course, there's very few purges only. Level 3 Shadow Hunter now acquired. Should be Serpent Wards, I think. Yeah, those level 2 Serpent Wards right away. And in the early supply fights, the Shaman can still work out fairly well. And you can see the towns are quickly falling, but the Demon also has a lot of damage to contribute. Runs going down as well. They're taking a lot of damage, as you can see. The heavy armor against the magic damage. Blade Master, perfect moment for the health stone. Did come into play, still taking a lot of damage. Still taking a lot of damage. The demand for life is super strong, but his army, his units are dying quickly. Well, he's going to be taken out as well, and Lin is using the tower as an anchor, and he knows it's very hard for the light to push in. The light lost a lot right there. Lin also lost quite a bit, the two grunts especially. But I think it was only two grunts that Lin lost, which are the most expendable units. Big Master coming back from the main, he's healing up, he's bringing salves. Lawlight, of course, also for heal for him, healing isn't going to be that easy. 
He has to rely only on Moonwells. Would love to find some heal wards here. Heal wards would be the perfect item. Level 4. It's gonna go evasion here. Yeah. Level 1 evasion. And Lin found Medallion of Courage. Not the best, right? It's kind of good for the shadow, I guess. I feel like you almost may want to sell this. So much gold. Raider run by. Lin has an inkling that there's an expansion here, and he's absolutely right. Goes for the invuln. Not selling the medallion. I think I would love to see a retrain into mirror image later. Mirror image and crit. Oh, the book of the dead. Oh my god, this is a sick find. I saw that kind of late. That's a big cast on the expansion. The raiders also got the cancel though. And now they can go for the main base attack. There is no pillage yet. But it will be done in a second. Well, I buys himself some time. One Moonwell's gonna go down. Both players playing excellently so far, I would say. Big kill here on the Berserker, maybe. Yep, he gets it. Shadowhunter now, almost level 4, and fighting through the Serpent Wards is very difficult. Purge on the Tinker, he might be dead. The staff is on cooldown, and he is. gone. Denied! Nicely done. And the Raiders are in the position. This is so cool! Lin knows with the towers and the burrows here, he has a very strong defensive position and he doesn't need the raiders to fight here. So he can use the raiders aggressively to also force a response. But now they might all die. I wonder if it's worth it to buy a TP and save the raiders with a TP. I think he was considering it for a moment. But that's three big kills. Well, I could be able to surround all of them. Uh, okay, needs more Cyclone. It's more time. 20 seconds is how long Cyclone lasts on units. That's a lot of Raiders going down, but also a lot of time. Full in. Level 4 Shadow. That's a big level up. And at this point, it seems like this expansion won't be cancelled anymore. I think he's going to be back very soon. He was only level 1. And I'm not sure who's favored here. Seems still pretty even to me. But of course, once the expansion is up, things get a lot more difficult for the Night Elf. Oh, Raider. Almost caught. Did he sell the boots, by the way? Oh yeah, he did. Well, I'd sold the boots of speed. Which I'm not the biggest fan of, necessarily. He's trying to save the tower from being cancelled. This would be a big deal if this tower finishes. And it will, but I think it should be getting taken out here. It is a good amount of damage. That tower falls, but it costs a lot of HP. Late Master arriving from the back. And again, the Serpent Wards. Serpent Wards plus towers. This is a nightmare position to fight into for Lawlight, but he feels like he has to. You can see the damage is immense. From the Orb of Venom especially. Of course, Lin doesn't have walkers. He doesn't have... Spirit Link to protect him. Lolai clearing the rest of the Merc camp. Can go for Berserker maybe? What's Ling gonna do? He's buying a TP, going for the hidden run. He knows his expansion is well protected. Building something here? Oh, I think that Peon was just in the wrong group, maybe? I don't know. Interesting game. Very tactical. Oh, he's trying to set up towers on the high ground as well. Okay. Blade and Shadow closing on level 5. And if you guys don't know, level 3 Serpent Wards are crazy good against Talons. Lawlight trying to break this position. And Lin is not in a position to counterattack, really. He went to the corner to creep the bottom right, which may not have been the most efficient thing to do, honestly. Needs to buy time with the repair. 
Alright, there's a tree of life here, but that one probably gonna be taken out. Oh, very important moments. We're all gonna fall, Peon's gonna fall. Tree of life, boing time. Importantly, he has nature's blessing. I think the light's looking better and better here, isn't he? That red also gonna be taken out. And the one tower not good enough to hold anymore. Lin has lots of resources, though. I, I think I wouldn't mind seeing tier 3 for him. He's got so much gold. Thanks also to Pillage and, of course, the expansion. The expansion, which will, however, now fall. Then he's not going to take the fight. He's going to boost out with the speed scroll. None of the raiders get caught. And Beastmaster gets level 4. That's a good level up as well. Tinker 2.5. And Lin now, not in the easiest spot. A thousand gold still. But no expansion anymore. It looks like Lawlight has the lead here. Blade Master finds the tree. That's important as well. A player's forces are under attack. The item though from the red. Kavgas pipe would be insane. Oh, and he gets it. Oh my god. <laughs> what a drop. That's the best item on the map, for sure. Sells a bunch of items. Blade close to five. Shadow close to five. I haven't seen many games where Talons beat level three Serpent Wards. You will have to be down to the heroes. And Lawlight has good hero levels. Demon close to 5, Beastmaster 4, Tinker close to 3. And then now, trying to get that level 5. We'll get it here. In the corner, creep camp. And does go Serpent Wards, level 3. Five also very very soon. This Kaga's pipe is so amazing on the Shadow also because you get mana burn on Shadow, you have zero mana left, but then with a bonus mana region you get up to forty mana very fast. And at forty mana, of course, you can summon the next Serpent Ward. That's also why Soviet Mask is crazy good on the Shadow Hunter. Berserkers hired. Lin at 53 supply with a lot of gold still. And now, setting up a push here in the main base, trying to buy time for the expansion once more. But it's only towers so far, no actual expo. Look at the piercing damage on the fairies. Doesn't even look like they have mana flare form. <laughs> look at the damage, dude. Oh my god. Level 3 serpent wards. Pretty sick. And now the blade about to be level 5. There's almost no creeps left, only a little bit here. But I'm sure he's going to get enough kills in the fight. And more and more and more towers. Still no expansion here. Lin is taking his time. He doesn't feel rushed. It's also pretty low lumber now. Could go for another berserker here. And there we go. Now the great hall is coming. Tinker got level 3, Beastmaster, or rather, Demon close to 5. So yes, the hero levels are strong for Lawlight. Not sure if they're strong enough, though. And against this kind of army, of course, the Beastmaster doesn't do much, really. Against all these shaman, there's so much purge. And we had the mirror image! Oh! I didn't see the retrain, but I mentioned it earlier. Late game mirror image against Talons, very good. The 
It's a bit low mana though. That pocket factory would be level five on the Blade Master. Good position for Lawlion. He's able to protect his talents here for a long time. And the mana burn landing on the wrong blade because it's hard to tell which one's the real one, of course. Great game, Violin. It was a great game, greatly played by both for the longest time. Level 3 mirror image, boys. Level 3 mirror image. Very cool. <laughs> so many crits. And the Tinker's gonna die. Oh! Almost. It seems like Lin just has too much. The level 5 power spike of the Orc Heroes, we see it here displayed again. Serpent Wards especially. I mean, the mirror image is really cool and really fancy. But I think it's the Serpent Wards who are really making the difference. I think it does go down in the end. And that is GG. Lin with a great game. Lawlion able to hold on and play a very good game himself. But Lin victorious in the end. Level 3 mirror image, baby. Very, very swag and based cool very cool very well done and the 104 Lin Seems like there was a little bug with the lobby. Second map will be Concealed Hill, which should be harder to expand on for the Orc. If the Night Elf is in a good position to apply pressure. And I think that was the big problem with the Demon, right? It took him forever to get level 3. And he couldn't really be aggressive early on tier 2. He was rather creeping. And because he wasn't being aggressive, the Shadowhunter wasn't forced into Hex. And ideally, you don't want to go Hex. Sometimes you have to go Hex if the Demon is in your face. And you have to deal with him through Hex. But ideally, you want to skip Hex and rather go for the stronger Heal Wave and Serpent Ward late game build. And so far, what we've seen from Group B, Lin and Lawlai definitely looking like the two strongest players. Wouldn't be too surprised if they are the two making it out in the end. Yesterday, of course, it was 1-0 to zero and Focus advancing. And now Lin is one map away from being the second orc to make it out of the group. All right, we are ready for map number two. Huiz with the first time sub. Welcome. Thank you. This Lin guy seems decent. I would agree. Doesn't seem half bad. Lin going for lumber early? Is he gonna go for a fast shop here? Not exactly. He's microing the four peons to get lumber faster. And it's a keeper this time. No demon hunter anymore. This is of course a pretty damn bad map for talents. And lower play still seems to be hopeless against orc. So I can understand the keeper. Keeper expansion or maybe even keeper AP shenanigans.
Slayer's forces are under attack. Side right away. On this map, it's normally pretty hard to stack up the blade, especially if you're unlucky and find a ring at the first camp. But it's circled here. And the peon scout saw the keeper in the south, so Lin should be aware that he can be creeping this camp. I'm always a bit worried when they start up with a blade if they uh, re-trigger the inner fire, but it seems to all be working out well. Peon goes down finally, but did his duty. And the blade, a la focus, is just picking up the items. Not creeping the full camps, just... Oh, oops. Heal self cancelled. Just grabbing the items and leaving. Oh, speed scroll popped. Expecting the keeper maybe at the green camp. But that is not quite the case. Nighttime soon, but not soon enough. And of course the early game here for the Orc is normally all about trying to prevent the Keeper's level 3. Which can be hard to manage. Kind of surprised he's not scouting more with the Wand of Illusion. Now he is. Master also on level two. Oh, one hunters stuck inside the main, that's not quite ideal. Oh, when he manages to steal the telly staff away from the keeper, that could be big. A player's forces are under attack. Where's the keeper going? Good illusion scout, but they will now run out. And then, once again, there's minimal scouting available for Lin. Tier 2 is reached. Shadowhunter coming. We expect a bestiary and a lodge. And then it's still mainly scouting with the blade. Soaking up a lot of experience with the blade master only. So, leveling up the Shadowhunter won't be so easy. Especially if the light should manage to steal the shop. This would be a big deal. Get the alchemist, steal the shop creep, and then really limit the Shadowhunter's abilities greatly in terms of creeping. Oh, Tree of Life in a sneaky spot. Blade Master could find it if he has the reed. Scout Peon. Okay. And the Keeper got the level 3. But Lin is playing very cautiously. Exposing minimal risk. Oh. oh, he was so close to seeing it, dude. So close. If the Tree of Life gets cancelled here, Lolite would be in big, big trouble. And it's tier 3. Talons and Expo and Demon Hunter second. Yeah, I guess he only made two hunts. He telegraphed a normal Hunter's Expo play. And you can see Lin. He's afraid of an attack coming right now with lots of hunts and the Alchemist and the level 3 Keeper. It's always a scary timing that we are aware. Scout saw what was going on. I'm not sure if Lin saw the number of hunts though. 
We can plainly see it, and that's clear tell. But maybe he didn't see it. This looks like a very greedy build with Lawlight, gotta say. His looks very greedy. Tier 3 and expansion with only two hunts. One of Master and the Keeper, by the way. Oh, and he stole the mana from the Shaman. Very cool. Kind of energy found here. That's not a bad drop. Keeper has more entangle, but it's also a lot of Serpent Wards. Oh, and he siphoned the Shaman again. He kills that one as well. Nice play by Lord. It's gonna have one more entangle after this. He's gonna get the Grunt as well. Oh my god, he is. That was a sick creep jack by Lawlight. Super well played. Three units killed while the expansion is coming. The one of mana steal here. Making all the difference. And Lawlight seems to have a big lead here now. A player's forces are under attack. Then we'll be setting up the expansion, or at least trying to. Oh, does he get the trap? Yeah, he does. Okay. The one concern is the Demon Hunter. He's very underleveled still. Lawlight will need to try to fix that, and ideally also give him some tankiness items. You want to beef up the Demon as much as you can. Oh my god, it's Cadgas Pipe again. <laughs> Two maps in a row. That is quite lucky. And Lin is still not aware of the expansion. He's scouting around. He'll find out soon. But he'll find out a bit late. Is he going to find out though? He saw the creep, he's seen the talons, and I'm pretty sure he saw the expansion. He can cancel the Entangled, maybe. But Cyclone is going to be done in just a little bit. And Lin's expansion is still so far away. Lawlight seems to be in a great position here, and guess what he got the parry at? I think that's the best item he could have found. Actually able to make use of the Cloak of Shadows. Not bad. Entangle. Fairy Fire. Quite a bit of damage. Wait, you might be able to kill him here, right? A player's forces are under attack. Uh, I, no, he doesn't have enough mana for more Entangle. Okay. Bad item now. Wound bracers are of no use. A big space for the shadow honor. He was uh, off to a slow start. Couldn't really level too quickly. It's taking a while to creep this camp. With only raiders, you don't have the best damage here. Serpent wards, I guess. And all light is on the approach. Late Master is tagged. He's being seen. Oh, not anymore. He just ran out. Fighting an orc at the fountain, of course. Always very scary. And also pushing into towers. Kind of scary. Economically, Lawlight is looking amazing. His army so far, perhaps not that, imp that impressive. Especially because the Demon Hunter is still only level 2. Going in with the invuln, trying to force the TP on the Keeper. Needs to be lucky with a few crits here, maybe. But it's not enough crits. It's not enough crits by a long shot. So now it's up to the Serpent Wards, I guess, to fight against these Talons. There's still a decent amount of Purge left, by the way. Trying again for the Keeper. Purge number one, Purge number two, and successfully, Lin forces the TP. But the Great Hall is still pretty far away.
Oh, Lion has a lot of resources here to work with. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't add a third hero. Shouldn't you add a third hero? Tinker, maybe? Lin bought a TP. He wants to go for the counterattack, it seems like. But that's going to be a cancel. Oh, I should easily have the time for the cancel here. And we'll have to TP back is quickly. Is there an Nature's Blessing? Yes, there is. Lots of raiders in this army. I wonder if Lin can commit for the tree kill? Oh, is aware. He's aware he's getting counterattacked. And here comes the TP Helm. Nature's Blessing is helping a lot. And now, Mass Cyclone. It's a big moment in the game. Shadowhunter is caught. Shadowhunter is dead. No, invul transfer, last second save. Oh, that was sick. He's trying to get the tree with everything that he has. But it's not enough. Mass Cyclone, everything's in the air. And the Shadowhunter is dead. And it is GG. Cool game by Lawlight. Taking a risk, going for a bit of a gamble. Very greedy build. But Lin, not in position to punish. Fast tier 3 and an expansion off of just two Huntresses and a Keeper. The Keeper who is not so much the star of this patch, but if played well, can still work. The one of mana stealing made the whole game. I've been telling you, dude. The new one of mana stealing is OP in the early game. In the late game, it's just good, but early game, one of mana stealing is crazy. But for map 3, it's going to be Lin's map choice, and it is Terranus Stand. Which... I'm not sure if it's going to be Keeper or Demon Hunter here. I feel like both can work well. But the thing is, Terranus Stand is so good for Orc Tier 2 expansion that normally it's considered a quite orc-favored map. So, Lawlight will have to come up with something special because Lin is an expert on this map. Of course, he's an ex expert on any map, but this isn't his map choice. With the Ancient of War here, instead of the Merc Camp. It looks like a Keeper, right? Well, it doesn't have to be. I guess with Immolation you can also creep these two camps very well. I think I would prefer to see a Keeper. I feel like Len is even better against Team Hunter than he is against Keeper. But of course, you gotta pick your poison. Lin is an expert at most everything. Okay, it is Demon Honor. The best thing, of course, that I could do is again be able to set up a fast expansion. But I'm sure Lin will be scouting for that more diligently this time. Fast shop for Lin. I like that. It's gonna be able to pick up selves right away. Terranus Stand, of course, a very defensive map. Good for expanding, always. Only one set of salves. Couldn't he have gone for two? Selves? A player's force is under attack. 
starting with the circuit. Exactly what he wants. Very easy on this map to get two items with a blade in the middle right away. It's not the most efficient in terms of experience gathering, but for the items, it's very good. Double circlet also for the Demon Hunter. Speaking of very good. Both. Very satisfied with the early items, I imagine. Orc Tech is ahead, as is the norm. Oh, is he really going to go for the Mercamp here? That would be quite bold. No, just going for the Little Wizard. Hoping for slippers. Only Mantle. Has Banner Burn again, no evasion. Oh, he just got purged by the creeps. That's a bit unlucky. And the Demon is fighting the creeps. That seems a bit weird. Yeah, that was uh, not intentional. <laughs> Purges are making things awkward. The Grunt is always looking for the expansion. Lin does not want to get blindsided by a surprise expo again. As was to be expected. And here with the Malaysian and the Mercs, Nolite off to a really good start with the Demon Hunter. I think this early game so far is looking better for Lawlight than it is for Lin. Score the beast though. Oh, that's kind of a bad item. And what's the blade doing? It's gonna be two levels behind. Is this enough for three? Okay, not quite. Oh! Grant woke up the creeps! Is that enough? Oh, if he kills the Ancient of War here, that's big. Oh, Lin with a genius play on the Grant. That is such a big deal. This game most likely is going to be all about expansions. And now, being able to make this creep a lot harder. That puts Lin in an even position again, I would say. But experience-wise, he's clearly far behind. And this right here is level 3 for the Demon Hunter. Very early. He's going to be a big threat this whole game. But Lin stole the Tele Staff, as you can see. I'm sure Lawline wanted to get the Tele Staff himself, but couldn't, as it was out of stock. Lin has a peon parked here. He wants to see if there's immolation creeping going on. Are under attack. Lin with excellent vision here. Excellent scouting. Great reactions. And is in time to disallow this camp. Might even be able to force a TP here. Shadowhunter is out. Didn't skill Hex yet. Trying to block. Oh, doesn't have a speed scroll on the shadow. Has to TP to try to save the Berserker. This is a big deal. Oof. 14 HP. Very important unit. Just barely able to save him. Let's go the beast also here. Unfortunate find. But now with a pretty big force, Lola I creep the natural fairly easy. Maybe the Ancient of War loss, not that big of a deal in the end. But of course the Ancient of War could have also crept other camps. Like this renegade and this corner. And, as we know, healing is going to be a premium for this Night Elf army. Nice Quilby's play, though. A player's Being are under very obnoxious. Lin's items are not the best. Crystal Ball here. No slippers found. Rather gauntlets earlier. Oh, it's creeping up fast. Big item here. Wand of the Wind. Well, that's probably a bit redundant. A 
Madeleine Madeline seems really low experience. But that is not dissuading him from engaging into a fight, maybe. Oh, a creepjack here especially could be devastating. All I see is it early, thanks to the hawk. Almost surround. He knows the TP's gone. One of the wind used could be the perfect timing. And there's a staff. And now the expansion coming. Two, minute, two minutes, 20 seconds, how long it takes. Oh, nice abolish. Prevents the kill there as well. Good play by Lawline. Good reactive play by him. And also Lin. With a solid performance so far. I'm very surprised that there's no Wisp here. Are under oh, the Talisman of Evasion, by the way. It's pretty nice to have, since there's no evasion on the Demon Hunter. It's actually very good. It's not just pretty nice. And Lolite will find the window to get the expansion cast. Everything for Lin. Quite hurt. But Lolite's gonna have to buy a TP and port home to defend. He knows the counterattack is coming. A player's forces are under attack. Moonjo's situation is looking a bit dry. You don't have pillage, by the way. Oh, it's creeping up a bit more before TPing home. Is that a bit too greedy, I wonder? Let's go the Beast Pop. Needs to spell it. Master TPing out. One Raider should be going down. Oh, wow. Six saves. Almost got the Talon as well. The Nail to save everything, but of course the expansion was cancelled. I think that's good news for Lawlight. As long as the Orc doesn't have an expansion, I think Lawlight's going to be satisfied. Good game by Lawlight. Oh yeah, it's only level 1 mana burn. True. But it's going to be level 4 soon. Oh, Blade stole the item! Oh, he just walked in and stole it! Oh, that was an unnecessary mistake by Lolliot. Could have picked it up with both heroes. But he gets the big level up to 4. At least. Players' forces are under attack. Then again, trying with the X one. Gonna get level three shadow here. All I definitely has a clear experience. Like, oh my god, everything here is so hurt. Dude, imagine one shockwave. I had to use the heal scroll just to recover from creeping. Oh, here come the shaman. We see their effectiveness against the quill beasts. Third hero yet by Lolai, by the way. I would assume we'll see one later. Oh, Healthstone. That's a great find. Wait, did he get double robe? Oh, he did. Oh, wow. It's gonna be double robe on the shadow. And mantle. If he had a Sobe mask, that would be insane. On top of this. And again. Counterattack. Demon Hunter is home by himself, but it's one hell of a Demon Hunter. Inborn forced early. And uh, there's no heal wave, which I kind of forgot about. Hopefully Lin doesn't forget about it. Shaman at the expansion. The Shaman might all fall. Lightning Shield though could do some damage in the meantime. Big healing still on the Demon Hunter. Ultra was taken out. The Keeper was prevented. Oh my god, Demon is so strong though. Has to TP out. Oh, that's gonna be at least one Raider going down. Two Raiders going down. And all the Shaman up here falling as well. All I in a great position here, isn't he? 
seems to be struggling tremendously. There's a lot of pickoffs here, though, available. A lot of these talons, very hurt. Supply is still very even, indeed. Then we'll need heal wave soon. But if there's a hex, there's a quick purge. Wait, did he just purge his own hex? He may have. But the borrow's taken out. That's a big deal. Oh, and everything is saved. Nicely done by Law Lion. It's not going to be too easy to heal everything up. Just going to need a heal scroll, probably. But it is nighttime. And I would say Law Lion definitely has the lead now. It's close to double level 5, dude. That's pretty crazy. Very strong game here by Lolli. And now multiple expansions coming. Looks like Lolli is aware that he's in a strong position here. Master not able to cancel the expansions by himself, which ideally is what he would like to do. Sees the expansion, but there's no way he has the time for the cancel. And won't check the corner. Lawlight about to be on three mining bases soon. Goes for the Hunter's Hall. I like it. Lots of valuable upgrades from there. Players forces are under attack. Lin now pretty paranoid. Really wants to make sure he finally gets the expansion up. It seems like this time it should work out. Once he has the lumber, but he's a bit low on lumber at the moment. Things not quite coming together so flawlessly here. No creeps left on the map. This is such a sick demon item. With immolation and mana burn. Very nice. One Lawlight may have the angle here to go for the cancel again. The blade sees it early though. That might dissuade Lawlight a bit. Lots of mana on the shaman. And this is the opportunity for Lin to do some critical damage against the units. But the expansion is cancelled. There's no way around that. And now the Immolation, of course, kicking in. Hex, though, counteracts the Immolation. To some extent. Raiders getting on top of the towns, but they're mostly still healthy. Trying to force the TP here on the Beastmaster, but there's still minimal losses kind of for Lawlight. He got the cancel. He didn't lose much. Only one Berserker, I think it was. And now, mining from two bases. Lawlight in the perfect position here. After map one, it looked like Lin knew precisely what to do. But map two and three, Lawlight strikes back. Like the Emperor. It's got a shredder as well. Lots of lumber here. This almost looks like an unlosable position for Lawlight. He's going double chim roost. He knows what the doctor ordered. And Lin sees a second expansion. Three base opponent. Yeah, I think Lin has to win, like, right now. Go for an attack and slaughter everything. Somehow. Are under attack. TP in from the Beastmaster. Doesn't want to allow a Serpent Ward pit to be built up here. The Lightning Shield could be sick. Oh, and he cast it right away on the Beastmaster. This could be a lot of talents going down. And the thing about Chims is they take forever to be ready. Level 4 on the Shadow Hunter. Level 2 Hex now, potentially, but the Demon does connect for the Mana Burn. 
And it's quite a few losses on both sides, but of course Lawlight can reproduce super easily. Level 5 on the Demon Hunter. Level 3 Mana Burn. And that deals with the Shadow Hunter very well. Blade Master trying to get straggle kills, and Lid is getting a good amount of kills here, to be honest. But Double Chim Roost now ready. Oh, the Shredder is AFK! The Shredder didn't continue on to the next forest. I'm not sure if the Blade saw the Chim Roosts. Now he did. I'm oftentimes very. You know, hesitant with chims, because chims are terrible against serpent wards. They literally can't attack them. But if you're far enough ahead, maybe chims do work. Alright, TP in again. It's a lot of talents once more. Oh, wait, this was a heli stab, actually. Alright, seems like this tree is going down. TP out before he loses too much. One raider fell. What's the experience on the shadow? If the shadow owner gets level 5, I think Lindsay has a chance. Granted, though, that's a big if. And the thing is, Lolite doesn't have a third hero. This Beastmaster's contributions are also questionable. But of course Lolite has a ton of resources and a very strong demon hunter. This is a lot of raiders though. He has a lot of hit and run potential. The town is under siege. Getting a double expo cancel. That's big. Shadow are gonna get caught though, he's probably gonna have to TP out here once again. Because Lawlight is on the prowl. Need some mass and snare the Demon Hunter. Oh! They take to the skies! Talons in the air! Ready to drop in! Like a Skrillex base. And now all the Shaman up in the air. He can't dispel. But the Raiders can attempt to run away. Oh! Chimera harass! Against the peons. Blade Master dealing with the Moonwells over here. The army not that big anymore. And the piercing damage is really good against basically everything. Except for the heroes. Blade Master returning home. We can hex the Chim, of course. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a long-lasting hex. But there's a mana burn. Alright, the blade is back. One tower was taken out, the second tower is also gonna fall. The trades here for Lawlight recently haven't seemed that efficient. Alright, Hex is gonna wear off in a second. Not too many upgrades on the chims yet, though. One twenty-six crit, that's kind of disappointing. Not that impressive. Invul transferred, need to survive, and with that, he will survive indeed. Shadow Hunter, kind of caught, speed scroll, trying to run away, has to TP. And that exposes the expansion. And Lin's gonna call it. GG. Lin gives it up, and it's Lawlight victorious in the end with a variety of strategies. Well done by Lawlight. Best Lin, which is no easy task at all, and takes first place from the group. Well done. Lawlight with that, our first Night Elf making it through. First place for him. But of course we have a second place still to be determined. And we're going to find out who that is in the lower bracket. Lin down in the lower bracket. Not a side we see too often. And will still be the big favorite here. But Lawlight and Zhao Kai also still have a chance. That's our next game coming up. Lawlight... Versus Shao Kai. And that's going to be in just a little bit. Quick break, and then we'll be back with a fourth game. Lawlight versus Shao Kai. See you in a sec.